Hi lovely kings and queens, most welcome back to my YouTube channel, Regina Miruri, the blessed, the favored and the unstoppable is my name. Now I'm trusting that you're well wherever you are and that the good God is continuing to plant the right seeds in your life even as you continue running after his great destiny for you. Now single and searching people's so their channel Nanini, today's discussion uh, is especially for people that are seriously searching but have a mindset that is so closed that you are not flexible when it comes to your searching. Even before I begin uh, on this discussion today, I would like to share with us and to remind us for those maybe who might know of a story in the, in the word of God of a young boy who God has had chosen to be king over, future king over Israel. But this young boy by the name David had no clue of who God had said he is. He had no clue of God's plan for him. Whatever what he was doing, all he was ever busy doing was taking care of his father's flock. Now one day, God speaks to this king, uh, this prophet Samuel, his prophet Samuel, to go to this boy's home or house, uh, that is Jesse's house. Jesse was uh, the dad or the father to this young boy by the name David. So God speaks to prophet Samuel and asks him to go to Jesse's house to go and anoint this, to go and anoint someone to be future king over Israel. And now remember that God never told him who was supposed, who he was, never told his prophet Samuel who he was supposed to go and anoint. So God tells him, you just go, I'm going to show you who you're going to anoint. Now, there's a reason why God never told Prophet Samuel who he was going to anoint. Because one, I think, I kind of feel and, and think that maybe if God said that you are going to anoint this young boy, Prophet Samuel would have so many questions, maybe in his mind. You know, this is just a young boy. How can he be anointed uh, to be future king over Israel? And so many other questions like uh, we, you and I could also think of kings and queens. So Prophet Samuel obeys and goes to Jesse's house and asks uh, Jesse to present all the sons that he had. Now he had several uh, uh, sons, but at that time that Prophet uh, Samuel got to Jesse's house, David was not at home at that time. He was taking care of his father's flock somewhere. And so uh, Jesse presents all the sons that he has except this young boy, David. And the word of God tells us that whenever each, each and every son of Jesse passed by the prophet Samuel, in, in the presence of uh, prophet Samuel, some of them would pass, pass and, um, in front of him and he would think, you know what, this must be the guy that God has chosen to be uh, future king over Israel. Maybe because of his physique, how he looks, his physical features. For instance, let's say earlier when he was think, ah, this is a strong guy in his mind, in his, the prophet's mind. And I believe also, maybe could be, Jesse also had a perfect match, the perfect person that is supposed to be the king over Israel, the future king over Israel, the man that maybe God was about to anoint to be king over Israel. In his own thinking, maybe he would he could look at one of his sons and think, you know what, this must be the right, this must be the guy that God has chosen. But God had other plans. God knew who was the perfect future king over Israel, who was to be the king over Israel in the future. And that was none other but David. So whenever this man, this boy is passed by the prophet, the anointing and, and the prophet tried to anoint either of them 
or one of them each at a time the oil will not flow the anointing oil through the horn would not flow because they were they are the anointing oil the oil of the lord was not meant for either or any of them and so after all of them had passed and the anointing oil had not yet flowed <laughs> Prophet Samuel goes ahead and asks um, Jesse, do you have any other son in this home? Do you have any other son that you have not presented before me? And so Jesse is like, oh, there's one, the one small one, the, my, my smallest son, who is somewhere taking care of my flock. That's the only one that I have. I don't have any other. And so Prophet Samuel tells him, go and call him, tell him to come, present him before me. Let's see if this anointing oil is going to flow. And on arriving at the presence of the prophet Samuel, David knelt and immediately when David was there, arrived there, the anointing oil flowed. When the prophet Samuel lifted up that horn, the anointing of the Lord had to flow because that was the right person. That was the right, the perfect match, the perfect person to be king over Israel. Now before man or to man, before to, to Jesse or to prophet Samuel, David had no features to, of being a king. He had no, maybe he had no presentable features to be called king over Israel. And I believe there are so many questions, maybe even from um, uh, his brothers. How can the Lord choose this, this young boy to be, the, to be the future king over Israel? How? You know, people like Eliab, maybe they could be saying, they could be thinking in their minds uh, that, you know what, I have been in army, I have been in military, I'm the one who is supposed to be, who, who is the perfect match, who is the perfect person to be, you know, to be anointed to be king over Israel. But that was not the case. Our God sees differently. You might look at a person and you think, ah, Sasa, who, what, is he, what is he doing? Or what, who is this person? You know, what is, what is she talking about? Or what is he talking about? Even in our single status, at times, single and searching status, that is our mindset. Maybe you have a colleague at work, you have never thought of him being a, your future partner or someone that you can date. And you look down on them and you're thinking that, you know what, I don't, I don't date those kind of men. You are a woman, you are a, a man out there. You have this mindset of the kind of a woman that you want to be, to be with in the future. And because of your clogged up or closed up mindset, you limit God's will and purpose for you, kings and queens. That I use that story of uh, this young boy by the name David to show you that sometimes our eyes can lie to us. I'm speaking to people uh, that who could be listening or watching at uh, this video. And you, up to this moment, you broke up with someone a long time ago. And up to this moment, you still, this very minute, this very year, this month, you still have a mindset of the kind of a woman that you want to, to have. You should have characteristics of qualities like your ex. And so you are here single and searching and praying to God. But he can see that in your mind, you are still living in the old. You are still, you still have this mindset of, of you still have these images and uh, image of your ex how you that and you're thinking that that's how my future wife my future husband or even someone that I'm, I'm about i'll be dating in the near future should look like and i'm here to remind you let go of those images let go of the past relationships that you had maybe the qualities you're looking for is nothing close to what god has the kind of man or woman god has for you the qualities that the the kind of um, you know qualities uh, that the man and the woman god has for you has and so you are here limiting yourself, fixing your eyes only in one way. Let go of those ways that you have, you have fixed and those mindsets that you have right now, kings and queens. Flow with the flow of God. Aki move this side, move nae. You know? I'm also speaking to people who have a, a, a mindset that, you know what, I cannot get married. I cannot marry a woman from this tribe. I cannot marry someone. I cannot date someone who is far away from me. I cannot do long distance relationship. What if that is the man or the woman God has for you in the future? And you are there limiting yourself. To the single and searching people, this message is for you. Let God be. There's a reason why we shared on the, my last video that even when you're in, in a single and searching status, which by the way is not a destiny, 
it's important to let God be at the center of it all. Yes, you're doing your part because I would but you know, you got to keep, to get things moving and you know, your life moving. Even as you continue searching, let God be at the center of that searching. The word of God also reminds us somewhere in the Old Testament uh, that there's a way that seems perfect before man, but its its end leads to destruction, kings and queens. At times you are out there and you're thinking that, you know what, this guy makes me so happy, you know. Uh, this woman is so hilarious. She makes me laugh. She treats me good. She respects me. But God, maybe God, anaona future yako, he knows that that person, you're just being blindfolded because of what you can see and what you think with your little small mind. At times our thinking is not, has, has no match with God's thinking. And therefore, even in this issue of us being people, or people being uh, in a single and uh, searching status, realize the importance of letting go, flowing with God's flow. Or God's move, kings and queens. Let God choose for you the right path, the right match for you. Yes, you are. The, you, it's okay to have specifications, like let's say in aspects such as uh, religion. You know, you you know, for instance, I don't want to to be married, or, or I don't want to marry a certain a woman from or a man uh, from this religion. That's okay to have those kind of uh, you know those kind of important uh, aspects. It's okay for you to to make up your mind of what you're looking for. But try be flexible also because you never know who God has for you. And remember, as I always encourage you, keep searching. Just because of a breakup, apana, no? Keep searching. If it's going out more, go more, go out more, some more. Who knows that maybe in the process of you hanging out with your friends, you're going to meet the right match God has for you. You know? So I encourage you always. Not to feel sorry for yourself because you are st you have been in a single and searching status for a long time, and you know, even on, as we add on today's discussion, remember that try be flexible and let God give you the right match that you 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 don't you don't want but you need. God knows what you want and what you need the most. Kings and queens. Now I'm gonna call it a day for today, kings and queens. That's all I had for today, and I'm hoping that the Lord will give us more uh, to discuss on, even on this topic of single, singlehood, and single, and especially single, the single and searching people. Yeah, and if you're out there, you have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, where where you and you and you and you who are watching me right now, and you have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly remember to do so. Um, for this and more videos in the future, kings and queens. Now, I'm wishing you a lovely time wherever you are. Please remember that our good God loves us. He really does. He will never ever leave us. He will never forsake you or I. Once you know that and strongly believe it in your heart, please keep running after God's great destiny for you.